So a question I've been asked multiple times is, what is the deadliest or scariest animals I've ever seen camping here in Texas? Now, we do a lot of episodes dedicated to new campers, so I was really hesitant of doing this episode. I don't want to just scare you away by camping in Texas if you're from Texas. Um, obviously, I have all my digits. I'm not missing limbs, so just keep that in mind. It's it's probably a lot more deadlier just traveling to your campsite in a vehicle than it is to get injured by an animal or insect. But we will go ahead and cover the deadliest or scariest animals I've ever ran into while camping in Texas. So let's start off with some of the smallest creatures. And while these are not particularly deadly, it might be if you're allergic to your action. If you're anywhere in Texas, I mean anywhere, fire ants are just the norm nowadays. If you have anaphylactic shock, this is something to, to consider, you know, bring the proper whatever medication you need to uh, keep you safe, but otherwise they're kind of annoying. We also have Argentinian ants, various different harvester ants, and they all like to sting you. Um, another thing is bees. If you see a honeybee in Texas now, it's a 95% chance it's a killer bee. They've replaced the European honeybees that we used to have. So uh, as long as you're just not going up and batting at them, then you're going to be fine. I see them in mesquite trees all the time and they've never harmed me ever. As long as you're not messing with them, they're not going to mess with you. So to help you out, especially if you have little kids, get yourself some afterbite or some Benadryl. They'll help you with those ant stings, wasps, or bees. Now our next creature are kind of our arachnids. We do have you know, a couple ones of concern. We get these little brown scorpions. They sting quite hard. They're not going to kill you, but it's like getting stung by 20 bees at once. The pain does go after a wave. With me, I have been stung by them before. In about five minutes, the pain was gone. But still, try to avoid the little brown scorpions. Um, black widows, yeah, I see them quite a bit. I've even had them in the tent. They're thankfully a docile spider, so never been bit by them. Um, another thing would be brown recluse. And they, I think they're hematoxin because they if they bite you, they'll leave a little pit. So these are things just to be aware of. Uh, one of the things to do is they like to get inside your shoe and all three of those. So get your socks, kind of ball them up and stick them in your shoe. Or what I also do in the morning is just kind of, you know, hit the, uh, the bottom up, pound them, and just see, knock out anything that might be inside your shoe. That's just good safety practice. Next item on our list will be snakes. And this is Texas. We have quite a few venomous snakes. I have ran in quite a few rattlesnakes while camping. Um, they've never harmed me. Most of the time I run into them on the trail. I've never actually ran them on the campsite. And if you can, just make a wide beeline around them. Or a lot of times they'll, they'll move on. You know, sometimes I'm on a narrow trail and there's no going back so i have to wait for it to go move on but once again as long as you're not trying to throw a rock at it or bat at it it's just gonna mind its own business and head on out i've also ran into curl snakes and while very very pretty um they're neurotoxin so yeah they kind of like shut your internal organs down so um be very wary of those there's a very few deaths of it they actually do not have fangs they actually have teeth that kind of have to munch on you and essentially they have to get it onto like your finger or toe because their mouths are so tiny. Another one I've ran into is water moccasins. I've done some river camping trips where, you know, going 50, 60 miles down a river. And yeah, I've ran into them. And they're supposed to be these super aggressive snakes, but uh, I've actually never had them challenge me. I've had them swim right by my canoe and not bother me. So these are things to keep in mind. There are other venomous snakes, such as copperheads. I've never ran into them. So I'm just keeping those off the list, but they are here just to be aware. Next on our list is the American alligator. Now for you all that don't know, I literally just saw one this morning and I live on the Gulf Coast in Corpus Christi, Texas. So they're quite common. There's quite a few state parks with them. Now this is common sense animal. Do they have the ability to kill you? Absolutely. Are alligator attacks common? No, extremely rare. And then when it happens, it's actually, you know, it's something you'll see all over the news. Um, they're common sense. Wherever you go camping that have alligators, they're going to have signs up. They're going to tell you what you can and cannot do. Don't jump in the water with a bunch of alligators nearby. Just use common sense. While, the, yes, they have the potential to end you, 
just don't do something stupid. That's where people get injured by these animals. Next animal on our list is mountain lions. And I've camped for many, many, many years. I've only seen two. And it was impressive how large they are. But once again, they're rare. The range for a male is 200 square miles. Range of a female, 100 square miles. And Places like West Texas, maybe up to 400 square miles. So keep in mind, even places where they're common, they're probably going to be rare and you probably will never see one. But if you do and you feel like you need to uh, have pepper spray on you, go ahead, get like the bear spray. But overall, the chance of you seeing one is going to be quite rare. Next animal on the list is sharks. Texas is on the coast, and so therefore we do have a lot of beach camping in a lot of state and even a national seashore right on the coast. Even my home city of Corpus Christi has over 100 miles of coastline. So it's a kind of a common camping. Now, sharks are obviously not gonna go into your campsite and drag you into the water. However, you do have a worry about when you're swimming and I've even had them bump into my legs before. Um, never been bitten by one, but it's something to keep in mind. I've seen bonnet heads, I have seen bull sharks, and I have seen black tips. Um, it's one of those things that they're extremely rare, kind of just like the mountain lion or, or the alligator. And when they attack somebody, it is, you know, nationwide news that somebody got bit or attacked by one. So just keep that in mind. They're in the water. So if you're camping here in Texas, just something to be aware of. The next animal would be the North American bison. And, you know, one ton animal could definitely do some damage to you. But there are very few parks in Texas with them. The only one I know of where they actually roam free in the same places where people do is Caprock Canyon State Park, and they have rules. You know, stay within 50 yards of the bison. Don't go any closer than that. Now, when you do hear attacks from them, generally it is some idiot that wanted to get a selfie with it. They get up to one ton, so leave them alone. And they have no fear of you, and they can outrun you, so... When you see them, just mire them at a distance. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't discourage you from camping out in the great outdoors. There's a lot more things I think that can kill you in the city than going camping. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm not missing any limbs. I've never been injured by any of these animals, except for maybe some fire ants and some wasp and bee stings and some scorpion stings. Obviously, those were the littlest ones. But um, yes, don't let this discourage you. Go out there, enjoy nature. Uh, there are some animals I didn't include them in this list because I've never seen them, such as black bears, which are extremely rare and in danger in Texas. I didn't include coyotes because I've never heard of one attacking somebody in Texas. And if it is, it was probably due to rabies. They're quite small, maybe 40 pounds. I think people think they're bigger than they actually are. This is Adam with T260 and have a wonderful camping day.